swimsuits are out. <laughs> if that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what does. gonna go ahead and vlog my food and kind of put together um, for tomorrow night a little weekend recap of my food vlogs um, and then I also have a couple vlogs going up today or not vlogs but I have a weigh-in video and then I also am going to have my challenge video up today um, cat my your stuff is all packaged for you for your um, 100 subscriber giveaway <laughs> gift and my husband's gonna put it in the mail to you on Tuesday so sorry that took me a couple days to get it together um, get it all packaged and everything and addressed so now that that now that Christmas week is over and once I get past um, our New Year's party tomorrow night we should be in good shape I was supposed to go to um, the monastery today. I'm sitting here drinking coffee. I just left Target. I got myself a venti cold brew with coconut milk. I believe that that is three points. I need to look it up on the app. Um, and then I'm going to add my own sweetener to it. Um, but anyway, what was I saying? I totally lost my train of thought. You guys are probably, I know when people do that in vlogs, I'm like, you were saying? Oh, um, so I think I was saying it. Um, I was supposed to be at the monastery all day today, but we, I just have so much to do. Um, and we have this party tomorrow, so I've got to do some house cleaning. I've got to go run to Costco. I just ran to Target. Um, I had Weight Watchers today. I did not want to miss that. And we were supposed to be out at the monastery by nine o'clock for the church service and then the, um, festivities to follow. They're having a talk and lunch and you know, all that good stuff. So I just didn't want to miss Weight Watchers. I really felt like today, if I didn't go to Weight Watchers, we could have been in, in bad shape um, because I was really dreading it. I was just sure in my head that I had gained five pounds. I don't know if it's just like hormones and Christmas and I don't know what's going on, but I was really just, you know, prior to my restart, that would have been it. I would have not gone today and I would have quit. I'm not kidding. Like I had this whole, I'm not going to go blah, blah, blah thing going through my head. So I told my husband, I'm not going to go with you today. I've got too much to do and I have to go to Weight Watchers. I have committed to myself to go to every meeting and I just, I have to do that right now, you guys. So, I'm so glad I went. Check out my um, weigh-in video for more on that. So, yeah, this is just going to be sort of my vloggy vlog where I show you guys what I'm eating and kind of what I'm doing this weekend. Um, I picked up, oh, I picked up a dress um, that I showed you at the beginning of this. <laughs> so, first of all, bathing suits are out at Target. I walked in, the Christmas stuff is gone, the bathing suits are out. So if that isn't like a mental, the bathing suits and the fitness stuff, which um, I was at Lane Bryant last night and all of the fitness wear was out. We went there so I could get some underwear because they have like the best, if you're a plus size person, they have the best underwear. I don't know where I'm going to buy underwear once I get out of, completely out of their sizes. So if you guys want to recommend underwear welcome to YouTube where we recommend underwear to each other so um, anyway bathing suits were out and then I needed a dress there's like a formal kind of a formal night um, on the cruise ship and my husband's just gonna wear like a jacket and tie and I wanted to find something a little dressier but not like super formal and in my closet I have a lot of very formal attire 
So I saw this little black lace dress that was in the maternity section. I thought I'm going to try that on because I have plenty of front boobs and, and stomach to fill out, you know, a regular size maternity. You guys think I'm nuts, don't you? I read a book once where this lady was like, if you're plus size, you can often find things in the maternity section. And I was like, I will never do that. But this dress was so cute and it's like a, um, it's supposed to be like a bodycon dress. And I don't like dresses that are really tight through my midsection. So I thought, well, this will work. Well, anyway, I tried it on. So that's what you're seeing in the try on portion. Um, and it fits so well. It does not look like a maternity dress on me. So it just looks perfect. So I bought that. Um, and a few other things that I'll show you in my challenge video. Um, and some different stuff for the party. I got some wine and some cheese and that kind of thing. Cheese and crackers, wine. I think we're going to have like desserts, cheese and crackers, wine, and like sausage and, you know, like kind of just party stuff, nuts or something. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to see if I can rope Judah into going with me to Costco. I need to touch up my hair today. I'm really trying to wait as long as I can so I don't have to touch it up again in two weeks before I go on the cruise. So, um, my hair color lasts like four to six weeks. If I'm in chlorine, like when I go to Mexico, you know, if I do anything in the pool, it, it will just fade right out. Red hair does not hold color very well, well, and then reds don't stick very well, so. Food-wise today, I've had two hard-boiled eggs in those little egg packets that I show you guys, and I've had my three tablespoons of the sweet Italian creamer that I like that's sugar-free um, for one point. So I've had one point. It is almost 11 o'clock. Um, it's 10.50 right now, so I'm going to go home and make myself some lunch. I will show you that and try to vlog just, you know, vlog food and whatever else I can get vlogged this weekend um, and post it tomorrow night, God willing. Um, all right, I will see you at lunch. Okay, lunch is um, one cup of this leftover chili that I made the other day for three and a half points. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be having an entire bag of this um, Green Giant steamed broccoli for zero points. And I have my coffee that I'm still working on from this morning. Um, so, so far I've had, this will be about nine points uh, so far for the day. Hits and bumps and let's see if it shakes. Here's the sprout stevia, and here is the sweet drop. So there's a little bit of a difference in price, but not too much. So you guys were asking where I buy stevia. Right now I get it on Amazon or at Sprouts. Okay, Sprouts is where I get my Zevia. My two favorite flavors, Dr. Zevia and the root beer Zevia. All right, quick little grocery haul with Judah. We got two cases of Zevia that you guys saw. Um, we got some stuff to make spinach dip for the party tomorrow. Cranberries, that's not for the spinach dip. Grapes. Um, green onions. This is all from Sprouts. If you all have a Sprouts, I love Sprouts. Um, what else? We have some light mayo. Crackers and fajita mix. Oh, oh, and my favorite thing. Oh, these are so good. These were buy one, get one free. This is my favorite flavor. Cherry chocolate chunk. I think the whole thing is like 14 points, which is a lot. Um, some light sour cream, some spinach. Yeah, just a couple things. And then the Zevia. Um, this is Sprouts. So, All right, we're trying out this car mount. And I don't like it. Look, you can see my fingers. Hey, everybody. Um, we've decided that we don't like the car mount that I bought, so we're back to this. Um, I'm not really sure what the solution is. 
any of you car blogger people that want to share your non-shakiness tips and tricks with me, I would appreciate it. So we're headed to Costco. We just went to Sprouts. Um, we're just picking up stuff for the party mostly and then maybe a few weekly things here and there. And I meant to get the grapes out because I am hungry. Ugh. How are you over there? I'm great. The traffic's really bad. Uh, we're having a huge winter storm come through where we may get one one hundredth an inch or two one hundredths <laughs> of an inch of ice. <laughs> Point zero two. <laughs> so people are losing their minds and buying all the milk and the bread and the this, that, and the other. So we're going to be snowed in. Calling their families. <laughs> Calling their family. Updating their emergency preparedness plans. <laughs> making sure all their valuables are tucked away and their generators are prepared. We're pretty nonplussed about it. And we are like, come on, everybody. So. That's the plan right now. We're just getting a bunch of stuff. We like seriously rocked it in Costco. Um, it's busy, but not too bad. Let me show you what we got. All right, I have a lot of crap in my car. So we got two rotisserie chickens. We're just gonna bag. I'm gonna hand it off while you bag. Pineapple. A thing of tomatoes. Whoa. Zero point tomatoes. Here we go, sweetie. Just put them in there, it's okay. Um, big thing of albacore tuna. Is it albacore or albacore? I don't know. <laughs> this is for the party tomorrow night. We got tortilla chips. Um, another rotisserie. This is for the boys. Where'd your other muffins go? Oh, they're under here. Oh, they got these chocolate muffins. They love yeah, those. The you guys know that. <laughs> is that from a movie? Uh, my favorite chicken strips for salads. This is my yogurt. This is zero points, guys. The Valle zero percent. You have to doctor it up, I think, to eat it. Um, this is a seven layer bean dip for the party. Here are those eggs that I eat so many of. The little two pack oh, yeah, those are really snack good. eggs. Judah likes these too. So we've been chowing on those. This is for our cheese plate, the party tomorrow night, Italian dry salami. Big bag of my favorite apples right now. Love those. Cookies for the party tomorrow night. We're gonna see how much willpower I have. And a huge chocolate cake. A huge thing of organic eggs. And that's that. Hey guys. So we did, what did we do? Costco, then I ran to Old Navy and returned a couple things. And then I bought, like, I returned one dress, and then I bought a dress and two shirts, and somehow came out with an $11 credit on my credit card. <clears throat> $11. Excuse me, I can't speak. So that was cool. So I got a, another little dress for the cruise, and a tank top, and a little button-up shirt. <clears throat> so I'm trying to figure out, you know, exactly how I'm going to dress for the cruise. But I was sitting here thinking, you know, I wonder if it's realistic <clears throat> to say that you don't have to change the way that you eat in order to lose weight on Weight Watchers. Like, I remember back when I did Weight Watchers the first time, you could eat pretty much anything that you wanted. We're, we're never going to get out of here. Just so you know. This is like crazy pant land. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you could eat whatever you wanted and track it and like, you know, you could eat 100 calorie packs until you went blue in the face and they were like two or three points a piece. And I seem to remember losing weight on that. I kind of feel like that's not the case and you really have to, you know, change the way that you're eating <clears throat> in order to stay on program. And I remember like at some point someone saying a calorie is a calorie, but I think the research is that not all calories are the same. That, you know, kind of you are what you eat type of deal. I'm just wondering what you guys think about that. Those of you that did Weight Watchers back, you know, years ago, where it seems like point per point you could eat sort of whatever you wanted. And I feel like I still lost weight. <clears throat> I don't know. 
Um, I was just thinking. I'm going to go home and have a big salad. And so that's what I was thinking. Like, I'm going to have a big zero point salad. And what would I have eaten all those years ago? Um, when I had like 30 points a day. But one point was roughly 50 calories. So... I don't, I don't know that I was nourishing myself, but I was still, I still had a calorie deficit and was losing weight. So I just wonder what the differences are. I let, I know there's a lot of research and stuff, but I was just sitting here thinking about it. So let me know what you think. I mean, obviously it's better to eat whole foods and to eat nourishing foods. Like I totally get that. And I know Weight Watchers is pushing us that way. <coughs> But when I was younger, and this is when I was in my 20s, I could lose weight eating like grilled cheese sandwiches and 100 calorie packs. Like I remember doing that. All right, I'm gonna go drive. Oh, I just got home from church and I'm in my PJs. <laughs> my Costco PJs. Um, somebody asked me where I got my black coat that I was wearing today, the fuzzy one, and I got it at Costco. So I, I'm like very boring, I buy my clothes very cheaply at like Costco, Old Navy, Target. Boring. I'm um, just sitting here answering some comments and I'm going to go make myself a big salad in just a minute. I have a ginormous salad here for one point. Um, it has rotisserie chicken, the chicken breast with no skin or anything. It has two eggs. <laughs> it has the skinny girl balsamic vinaigrette, which is zero points for two tablespoons. And the only point in here is two tablespoons of my cheese. So one point for this huge salad that I'm gonna go eat right now. <laughs> it is so cold that I'm in bed eating ice cream. What kind of nonsense is that? I just finished this entire pint of Arctic Zero for 14 points, which leaves me with two of my 28. Ooh, my nose is a tink, sorry. <laughs> two of my 28 weekly, or not, I'm sorry, dailies. So I've had 26 daily points. And um, I'm going to close out, I'm going to close out, I'm going to close out the vlog. It is 9 o'clock, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey everybody, it's Sunday. I am sitting here catching up on some vlogs. This looks like a, I don't know, kind of a gross concoction, but it's actually very good. This is the um, PB2 with chocolate. This is the PB2 that I eat, and I've still got to stir it a little bit more. Um, two tablespoons of this is one point, and I think it's delicious. I'm going to eat it with a banana, and then I have one point worth's, worth's, worth of coffee. Um, this is a Starbucks uh, Keurig pod with three tablespoons of the... Um, sweet Italian cream creamer for one point and a fourth of a cup of almond milk for zero. So one point, two points. I'll see you in a bit. Sorry about my hair this morning. I look like I've been attacked by a wild animal in the night. <laughs> this is the thing with curly hair. If you have naturally curly hair, it just kind of, you wake up and it's got a mind of its own. So I'm sitting here uploading pictures. Why did I get coffee on my blanket? Um, <clears throat> uploading pictures. It is absolutely freezing, so I'm in my bed until church this morning. It is so cold outside. Um, we have a pier and beam floor. I don't know if you can see it, but there's basically nothing under. This is an old house from the 1920s. There's nothing under this floor except for open air, and it is just so cold. Um, so anyway, uploading pictures and I found uh, this picture of me from a couple of years ago I just wanted to show you guys um, you know obviously lost weight here I am almost exactly two years ago <clears throat> so like I think the main difference is just in my stomach um, and my face I mean you can really see so this is about 30 pounds uh, up so here's another one. This one's from February of two years ago. So you can just see. Okay, last one. This is me two Christmases ago um, at an office party. And this is the dress I was wearing for Christmas this year. I don't know if you guys can 
just tell the difference in my face and definitely in my stomach. I just posted a water challenge on my Facebook page for the last day of 2017. So I'm going to try to drink three of these. Um, I have lemon juice in here. And three may not seem like a lot, but you guys, I'm terrible at water. So I'm going to try to get three of these in today. Then also, I'm taking a probiotic every day. There is a study that just came out that I was reading about at work that people that take a probiotic every day for 12 weeks, I think, lose 3% of their weight. Um, and that long-term benefits for weight loss are seen when you take them daily for a longer period of time. Excuse how loud it is in here. I have an old house and the boys are in the shower. But I just wanted to show you what I'm going to diffuse right now. I'm going to do wild orange. So I'm going to put 10 drops in my diffuser. And then I'm going to put two drops of cinnamon bark. This is currently like my favorite mix right now to kind of get me going. Um, if you all use essential oils, this is a great blend. We are on our way to church. It is freezing outside and <laughs> like literally freezing. We're getting some freezing rain and that sort of thing. Um, we have church this morning and then possibly um, we have a priest that came to serve today from out of town and he's a friend of ours from seminary days so they might be coming over um, yeah just go slow here sweetie they might be coming over after church we'll see see this is kind of slick um, and then tonight we're supposedly having our New Year's Eve party we'll see if want to still do that. I don't know if the weather is supposed to be really bad this evening. People may not want to drive out. So we're going to uh, check it out. I do have a lot of food and stuff ready for New Year's, but we can always adjust and use those things for other stuff. Um, anyway, I will see you guys at church. actually snowing <laughs> crazy um, it is about 1 30 and we just left we been hanging out with our friends at the church that came to visit and they're on their way they're moving to Virginia so they're going towards even more cold so we're excited for them um, they're awesome military family military chaplain so anyway had a really great service with them. We didn't have very many people show up for church because of the weather situation. So um, I'm gonna go home and eat some lunch and we decided to reschedule our party this evening um, to tomorrow. So we're gonna do it tomorrow evening instead. So I think I'm gonna go home and put the turkey in for tonight. Doesn't that sound good? Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully it's completely defrosted, although you guys gave me some great tips on how to cook it if it isn't completely defrosted. But I think we'll have time to uh, get that going and have it for dinner tonight. Uh, but yeah, and I'm going to go home and eat lunch. I'll show you guys when I get there. Okay, I'm having very runny eggs <laughs> with some Canadian bacon. So I have six pieces of the Canadian bacon for one plate three eggs and a Zevia, and I'm watching, let's see, uh, Jay Whackers while I eat. It is cold and it's snowing outside. <laughs> it's really cold. Um, so I put the turkey in and it is, let's see, three, three o'clock. And it's so cold and I'm wearing like a big sweatshirt and big socks and I decided to get in bed and maybe take a little nap. <sighs> Sunday afternoons are so fun. It's 5.30 on New Year's Eve and we're having a little snack. We're getting ready to go over to some friend's house to play some sort of, what are we playing? Some sort of card game? Euchre. Euchre. Um, so we have a wrap. I don't know if you can see that. That's what my husband's eating. Um, it has some of this grilled chicken from Costco. Let me turn you around. Okay, so I put some grilled chicken strips on our little two-point um, fit and active 
wrap, the grilled chicken zero. I put um, half a tablespoon of light mayo and a tablespoon of cheese. So this is gonna be about three to four, like three and a half to four points for this little um, thing. We're gonna eat dinner late, aren't we? We are. So we're having a quick little snack and then we're off to our friend's house. Whoops, I forgot to say. <laughs> Um, a tablespoon of the Olive Garden light Italian. So four points. going to close out the vlog for the weekend. I'm probably going to uh, edit it and post it in the morning just because we're all going to go hang out and we're tired. And <laughs> I'll care if you want to bed. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what time it is. It's not. It's only 9.20. It's 9.20 at night. Um, Happy New Year, everyone. And I will see you on the vlog tomorrow. Um, I'll go ahead and post this tomorrow and we'll see what else we can get into. But have a great, happy, healthy 2018. Um, we're definitely gonna rock Weight Watchers in 2018. So we'll talk more about goals tomorrow. Have a great night, good night. <laughs>